Our top story, Palestinian factions have called for protests in the Gaza Strip and the occupied West Bank on Tuesday over a planned march by Israeli settlers in eastern Jerusalem, Al Quds. The Hamas and Fatah movements have urged the Palestinians to flock to Jerusalem's old city to counter the settlers' march. Protests have also been planned in the Gaza Strip. Hamas has warned of renewed hostilities if the events dubbed March of the Flags goes ahead. Separately, Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Shatayah has warned about dangerous repercussions of the march. The Israeli media say the regime has made preparations for a possible escalation in Gaza over the march, which was originally due to take place last Thursday but was delayed. Rabbi David Feldman is the, is the spokesman at the Nutre Carter International joining us out of New York. Rabbi, welcome. What's your views on this uh, march, which essentially is sh surely going to increase tensions in at a time where, you know, it's very hostile, the environment there in occupied Jerusalem, Al-Quds? Uh, well, this is truly outrageous. This is a march which is going to take place now, planned to take place, after these marches that did take place uh, early, uh, early uh, May, just a couple of weeks ago. And we saw, unfortunately, what the outcome was of it. So many people were killed, so much casualty, so much bloodshed, so much uh, misery because of these reckless marches of provocation to make this statement and to fight against the Palestinian neighbors. Unfortunately, when we're talking about a day of rage, this might be a month of rage, this might be a year of rage, this is already going on for decades. This is truly outrageous. And sadly, when this is being done by uh, this settler movement, which, uh, which they come out in this religious um, um, way and they try to present this radicalism, this extremism, this, uh, this, this terrible behavior, and they try to, to uh, show this with a religious face. This is truly embarrassing to Jewish people. Uh, as uh, I'm sure that many people are not aware, there was the Aida Haredes, the anti-Zionist rabbinate in Jerusalem. Uh, in the beginning of, of uh, May, just a couple of weeks ago, they issued a statement condemning those marches that started at the time, uh, 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 condemning that. But we have to be very clear that when we are talking about the settler movement, Unfortunately, they, they are very, uh, 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 they're coming out in public and they're very radical and they're very obvious. But it's not only the radical movement that uh, Jewish people are so upset with, it's the entire occupation which is anti-God, uh, it's against Judaism, uh, and it's totally wrong and this has to stop. And as Jewish people, we come out in public already for the, the last couple of weeks and it's already for the last decade since the 1930s before the creation of the State of Israel. And we say this publicly and loudly, that the State of Israel is not representing all Jews. This is against Judaism. It's a violation of right. international law and is a violation of Jewish law. Rabbi, just how extreme is the ideology of these settlers who are marching in what freedom loving people around the world as well as the Palestinians consider as Palestinian Jer Jerusalem Al-Quds but the international community uh, the western uh, as part of the segments uh, se section of the international community consider eastern Jerusalem Al-Quds as uh, uh, belonging to the Palestinians despite it being occupied uh, how extreme are these are these settlers well, well, you know, we as religious Jewish people truly believe that this occupation in its entirety is wrong and all of Palestine needs to be returned to the Palestinian people. This is Jewish and this is just. Uh, but even if you would take that approach that other, others will take, that we need to divide Palestine into two, uh, even though we can argue whether that's, that, that's going to work or it won't, but taking that extreme stance that going even into Palestinian territories and even do the provocations in there, you know, they are very publicly and clearly making a statement that not only they don't want peace with the Palestinians, but they are willing to destroy 
anything which is already achieved or existing. Okay, Rabbi, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts there. Rabbi David Feldman, a spokesman at the, from the Inutre Carter International, joining us live from New York.